Hello everyone and welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Wednesday the 25th of March looking at cable and cable really is the mover of the moment isn't it um it's in the last two weeks it had that massive massive sell-off um and now that massive sell-off is being unwound decent positive candle actually on Friday a bit of a choppy move on, on Monday and then significantly higher on uh, Tuesday and again this morning significantly higher 180 pips up on the day look at these momentum indicators starting to turn around RSI 37 that is a bull um, buy signal and um, having been ridiculously oversold at 16 back at 37 that is a positive signal and that is a, uh, effectively the most basic of bull crosses on the RSI You've also got stochastics beginning to pull higher. Our uh, MACD lines also starting to pick up. Now, I've been talking on the um, on the daily report about the fact that this is a base pattern. This is the hourly chart, and not only is it a base pattern, it's a base pattern of around about 525 pips, measured from the low of 1405 to the high of 1930. Well, we've broken out above that today. Um, and look at the strength of the hourly momentum as well. Consistently above 40, it's now pushing on above 70. So really is buying strongly. It's done that throughout the course of the last 36 hours of trading, really, there or thereabouts. And um, it doesn't look as though it necessarily has to stop here. A um, little bit of um, overhead supply around the 1955 area, basically where we're trading now. But above that, you're looking, well, I mean, I suppose 20 round big figure could be an issue. But 21.95 is effectively the next real area of resistance above um, above here. And, and given the, the pace and the ferocity of the decline, given also that there's little real overhead supply, that, well, there could be an opportunity here for a considerable rebound. So the, the market is really getting ahead, really going on and uh, pushing through with this recovery now. And um, buying into weakness certainly seems the way to play sterling dollar at the moment. It's at an uptrend, it's not perfect, it's not brilliant, but it's maybe could be used as a bit of a gauge, that gauge of uptrend, 1840 area, around about the resistance, uh, the support, I should say, of uh, these uh, little traded highs before we started to get going in the breakout this morning. So uh, the market is looking positive on cable, and I think buying into weakness in this uh, market recovery looks to be a viable strategy for now. So uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinars.